Previously on Survivor, 16 new castaways started their 39 day adventure in Mesopotamia, split into two warring tribes of eight. The first reward challenge showed that Aridu was a relatively cohesive group under Happy's leadership, while on the other hand, Aruk was marred by strong, unmatching personalities, a lack of unity, this sucks, and internal sabotage. I threw away the wood. This lack of a cohesion led to a loss in the first immunity challenge and a fractured tribe right off the bat. Going into the Tribal Council, Aruk was split into two alliances of four, which were as dead set as could be. But Joma, trying to gain the twist involving the past votes breaking ties, threw his vote and inadvertently caused Light to be voted out first. The tribe has spoken. Fifteen players are left. Who will be voted out tonight? Look at us, you know, we, we, what, a, what a great job we did today. We, uh, we got the gold, and it's, it's pretty good for me because I feel like I'm just making an ass out of myself. I'm just trying to have the greatest time I can whilst I'm here, but the strategy probably won't start just yet. I, I'm feeling really good right now. I, I love our tribe, and I, I love the beef I'm setting up with the pissed tribe, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling fantastic. Like that was right. that, that, Should we have it face a... this way? Which way are we yeah, face? Yeah, yeah, maybe face. Why is it facing oh, that we way? We have warps. That's okay, right. Yeah, yeah just warp. Wait, we have to warp ourselves? Yeah. Yeah, yeah do warp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dude, it only faces one directional. There we go. This looks good, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of I kind of didn't do so well. The challenge at the end, I had to put all the banners up, and uh, I couldn't do that, which is troubling to say because it was a very easy task. So I looked like a bit of an idiot to everyone. Um, I feel like that could put a target on my back if people think I'm just clueless in challenges, so... I'm gonna try my best next time. Hopefully. Boom. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, we're, we're, oh, we're not gonna even have to oh. have oh. yeah, yeah, baby, that's what I've been oh, waiting someone for. My idea. Oh, that looks so good. So we won the first challenge, and I will not be the first boot. <laughs> We all have a really good vibe going with each other. Happy was like, he like kind of set himself up as this like leader figure, right? And I was worried he was going to be like super hushy or bossy, but no, he's like really cool and chill. And like, he helped me through that first part, even though I was like kind of going crazy because you know, the first uh, challenge jitters and all that. But like, I, I don't think that could have gone any better, honestly. God, my head hurts after that challenge. <laughs> yeah, see you in 12 hours when you win. No, no, in like 20. More like, <laughs> oh, like two days later on. Yeah. Bro, I have to go to the circus in like 20 hours. Fuck me. Is that, is that like it? your thing? You go to circuses? I've never is been. I wish I was in the circus. I remember Madagascar 3, classic, best movie. <laughs> so, classic. so I'm just relaxing. I'm bonding with Falk, with Pigeon, and a little bit with Chris Elite. I want to eliminate good players in this game, but I will need shields. He would be a good shield, of course. Mason, he's somebody I could play with, but I do want to build a connection with Falk and Penguin the most currently. Hi, my name is Falk, I'm 20 years old, and I talk to dead people, not in a creepy way. I am a forensic science student. I'm taking a forensic anthropology course. Basically, I'm in a literal nuclear bunker analyzing bones, you know, how they died, where they're from, and it's rather calming for me. Somebody who has difficulty talking to others, my profession can actually help me because you need to listen to the fine details of what a person is talking. I might not talk as much, but if I get like a footing in, I'm, you know, pretty much settled. But 
I'm just not vibing. Like, there are just too many different types of people. Like, we have the Jogs, we have the Fieri kids, like, we have the quiet people, we have uh, video editors. Like, it's too many cooks in the kitchen. I previously said, like, I do think there will be a divide between the louder people and the quieter people because there's, like, free people talking. Like, imagine, like, you're playing, like, Minecraft scenically and it just, like, like it yeah, drops. Like, There's a drop. You know, I saw that Rib and uh, Ruben, they, they kind of struggled a bit in the last challenge. So, you know, I reached out to them. Ruben left me on scene. I'm not bitter. But, you know, Rib and I made a little small talk. You know, hopefully that's a start of something hopefully we can continue a winning streak so i don't have to worry about this stuff but sooner or later i'm gonna need to see like where my loyalties lie with these people all right first tribal council in the books i think out of all things that i was nervous about going into this game that first tribal council was at the very top of my list fortunately i wasn't voted out no one in my alliance was voted out so things are looking good. I'm really excited to see where this group's gonna take us moving forward. I feel like we have a saboteur between the wood and the death sign and voting sooner. Man, someone, someone's like someone's, purposely doing something. Someone's, someone's, someone's trolling a little. Being a little evil Knievel here. <laughs> First, like, I thought fucking sooner through the challenge, but that could just be me. That could just be me being stupid. Honestly, I, I fucking threw that challenge. I did not want to, <laughs> I didn't want to win it. I, I, I want to have that on my resume to say, I went to every tribal. I want to pull a Denise Stapley. It's not really a big thing, but it kind of sucks that I'm on the bottom. I put myself in that position. I threw my vote on Sooner. So Sooner probably thinks I voted for him and I, that's really bad. See, the, the goal of this like plan was to not get caught on, but now I'm getting caught like round one. So I think the biggest connection I'm gonna have to go to is back to the Squiddy. If not, get Dizzy onto our side. Top 15 has never felt so good. I mean, yeah, our alliance name is so stupid. It's so juvenile. But I really feel like it's something we can all bond over. We're a team of people who don't know each other at all. We don't seem to have much in common. We're, we're playing Minecraft Survivor. We've got to have at least a little bit of stupid fun on the side. Who voted I'll sooner? Honestly, whoever did just, it, you're smart. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I could be wrong. I don't think Light no. voted sooner. I don't think. No, Light, no, Light, Light when he was leaving, he said, I, I don't know who stuck, who didn't stick. Yes, uh, uh, yeah. One of those people voted for me. Dizzy, I know, didn't. I, or at least he should have. Honestly, it would have been hilarious if he did. And I asked everyone else to be honest about who, the, who voted me. And, like, I don't know if I'm just overthinking this, but the dots be connecting a bit too good here. Okay? I, I feel like Joma or Joff are lying to me, and they 100% voted for me. Immediately when we get back to camp, Joe's there like, Oh, I voted for Daryl! And I'm just thinking like, well, shit, you're, it now seems like I was the one that voted for Suno. So it's either me or Joe, and I know for a fact I didn't vote for Suno. Yeah, basically I'm, I'm fucked, I think. I don't even know what to say, it's just, why was there a vote for Suno? Why? It, if people could be honest, that would be great. Yeah, that would be great. I voted one. I, I 100 percent voted Nero, and I I have no oh. shame in saying that. I, I voted. Oh like, yeah. Um, looks at you up and oh. down. These people are fucking weird. Like I don't get it. I also don't get how it was between me and whatever the fuck his name was, Light. I don't get how it was between us to begin with. Um, it should have been between Sooner's dumbass, and I don't want to throw out Dizzy's name because Dizzy had my back. But it should have been Sooner. Let's be so real. They took forever. Forever. I named mine Darla I mean, because that's what I thought of whenever I wrote Daryl. So oh, after weird. the season, you can go fact check that. And I'm going to make it so known that if we lose again and it's because of Sooner, I'm throwing his name out and be like, how is it two out of two? How did you lose two out of two times and take that long? But yeah, um, fuck Sooner, fuck Joe, and fuck that British person. Um, but Dizzy's cool and the Dick Alliance such a gay alliance name they're all like like super straight like that super straight shit it's like kind of like that it's just odd but i'm gonna be more loud now because i'm not i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna be like targeted for being quiet and yeah probably to, to unite do you guys want to sit around the fire uh, and talk yeah no no, no, no. white 100 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. voted daryl that's he had yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw some mud into the fire 
Roast some mud for us. Some, yeah. Some mud s'mores. I'm never being quiet again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a mountain. Look at this. Answer my damn question. Oh, what's what my skill? Well, I'm Filipino. This is not a Filipino. Oh, he's a wolf. I'm pretty sure he's what? a wolf. <laughs> that is not a wolf. This is this is like this is a transformer. Inside like, me are two wolves. <laughs> okay, dude, uh, you're not. This is not true. I'm really proud of my tribe, just because we were able to, you know, make quick time decisions when we needed to. I'm proud that me and Mason we cut our losses at the uh, piston puzzle, and we said that was too hard, and it was wasting so much time. We went to the parkour, and we were able to do it pretty fast. So I'm proud of Mason. Want us to want to want to, you know. Keep close contact with him. <laughs> There's no shit yeah, you're a wolf. I can I can prove it. Uh, a wolf. Dude, that is not proven shit. Dude. Damn, Chris Furry are <laughs> caught in 4K. <laughs> not a wolf, man. This is not a wolf. This is. You don't see it. You don't see it. This is going well. I was I actually wanted to be on the yellow tribe when I saw the tribe, but I've been doing pretty good bonding wise with the blue. Uh, the thing is, I don't have an idol. I don't like that. I mean, somebody else has found it. That, that annoys me. I'm gonna guess it's either Happy, Chris, or Mason. Fuck them. I have to pick one of them to work with and then to vote off the other two. That is that is my plan. Boys! It's me, Atlantic Justice, or Mason. I go to the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and I currently work as a big screen operator for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Working in live sports production, you always have to be quick on your feet. I'm always running replays or creating packages during the games. But man, I even met our head football coach, Matt Roll, a couple weeks ago. That was awesome. Being able to build a network of connections to create alliances and make big moves will help fill my resume to take this championship. My teacher says that sports is the stage of storytelling, but I like to say that Survivor is a grander stage meant for storytelling. It's my time to show what I can do. Game time, baby. Well, I see the face, but you're like, you got like, you got like Iron Man armor on. Like, this is not a wolf. This is yeah, transformed. Yeah. It's a wolf with Look, clothing. Man. Look, man. Yeah, he, I'm wearing clothes. It's like, you know, some like Sith Lord, like too. garb and robe, you know. I've got some familiar faces with me and some new ones as well. But I'm very excited to see Falk. His name's kind of a meme, but, you know, a long time ago, my man and I were really good buddies. He went by Freeze, and I'm super excited to see him playing Minecraft again. I've been messaging him a lot, catching up on the good old days as we've been trying to get a read on him. He hasn't been messaging everyone, so come in my corner, man. I will gladly take you in under my wing. I thought it was cool, Happy, all right? I'm a wolf, too. A wolf? Prove it. Prove it. I, I ain't proven that, dude. Unless JP can cut that out. You know. <laughs> Oh, Camel I'm gonna mail. get the devil mail! Camel mail! <laughs> no way, the season's going on. There's three oh, stairs, they're three deep. Stairs. That's deep, bro. Yeah, that's pretty deep. I'm 13 and that's pretty deep. <laughs> this is actually deep, I'll be honest. Getting your first look at the new Iraq tribe, Light was voted out at the first tribal council. Oh. Or so I'm going one. to need the immunity idol back. You guys are a mess. I thought y'all would have sooner. Yeah. All right. Immunity is back up for grabs. In Sumerian mythology, the underworld was believed to be a deep, dark cave. One story told of the goddess Inanna, who tried descending through the underworld to save her sister's life. She had to squeeze through seven gates throughout it before finally getting to the throne of the underworld. Starting on your mats, all 14 players will run through the first gate to enter the underworld before separating onto your mats. From there, one member will run to each button on either side of your course. When those buttons are pressed in unison, a turnstile in the middle of the course will rotate. Players will have to jump from block to block as it turns, making it across the pit and through the next gate. Once all five members have crossed the pit, the process will repeat with another, larger turnstile until three members have crossed, and again it will repeat with one massive final turnstile. The final member will jump through the final gate and sit on the throne of the underworld to win immunity for their tribe. Before we start, um, Eridu, you guys need to sit one person out. Uh, keeping in mind, that person cannot sit out in back to back challenges, so who will be sitting out for you guys? I'm sitting out. He can't sit out. Alright. And Ruben will be sitting out for a redo. Now, let's get to the challenge. One, yeah. two, three, go. Alright. 
Button pressers and try to synchronize it. Just like say, say, go, 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 you want to go. All right, I'll be ready. Okay, 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 I'm gonna start spamming it. Yep, just yep, so you don't, know. Well, don't say it out loud. Maybe it should be well, one. Yeah. I'm pressing my button in three, two, two, one. Oh, whoa, well, uh, oh, okay. so you, go, you gotta go left. Pigeon, Pigeon, and uh, the other one pressing the button. Can, can you say, Wait. just say something so I can, for voices? One, two, okay. three, one, two. Ah, oh, see, I can't. It, it's delayed. In okay, three, so two, one. Three. Okay. One. Nice. Okay. Okay. Three. Pressing the button. In three, one, two, two, one, three. One. Okay. Two. Pressing the button. In three, two, one, two, three. Nice. Okay. One. Somebody Pressing get ready to go. In three, two, one, two, three. Oh, oh squid is the first person through okay. for the run. <laughs> Make sure you get right. through the gate and stand behind it's the fine. line Just while you wait for the rest of the track. Okay. Okay. Um, two, are you ready? Um, Yep, I'm spamming. Okay, press the button in three, two, one. Three, two, one. Okay, we got it. And Chris is the first okay. person through for a redo. Pressing the button in three, two, one. Okay, pressing the button in three, two, one. Pepit is the second person through for a redo. Whoa! Uh, oh, fuck, double. Twice. Okay, in three, two, hey, one. <laughs> Shit. Sorry, I'm actually again. not trying to throw. Fuck. No, no, you're yeah, that way. Fuck. Okay. And fuck is sorry for a redo. In three, two, one. Okay. Okay. Pressing the button. Oh, I got crap. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Pressing the button. In three, two, one. Nice. And sooner is three for a run. Okay. okay. Pressing the button. In three, two, one. <laughs> Good form. Uh, okay. A double. Two, one. Okay. Okay. It might be his three right. for the redo. Right. Like, yep. One yeah. more person needs to get through for them. Let's go! Okay, cool. The redo is good to move on to stage two. Oh boy. Uh, go 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 Alright, yeah. let's do it again. Here we go. Pressing the button in three, two, one. Nice. Pressing the button okay. in three, two, one. Nice, okay. Nice. Oh, okay, nice. Next person. Lovely. Hi. Is that dead? Three, two, one. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Daryl, make sure you got pressing the button in three, two, one. Yes, nice, good job, guys. Back together in stage two. Three, two, one. Back together in stage two. Damn. Okay, and pressing the button in three, Two, one. Press the button in three, two, one. Press the button in three, two, one. Three, two, one. In three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Great job, great job. Yes. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, guys, I'm being honest, I'm smelling victory. Happy okay. smelling something. Okay. Three, two, okay, one. Yep, yep. Nice, nice. Yes! Chris makes it through for okay. radio. Three, okay, just two, holding up for one. Now. What the? Sooner <laughs> one, JP, if you talk over me, I'm going to get louder. I'm, I'm going to get louder. Just meet JP. Just meet JP. Just meet JP. <laughs> well, that's fucked up. Nice. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Good. Okay. Line it up. Let's go, King. Let's go. Let's go. Right, so on the final stage. Three. Two, one. Oh my god. Oh. Good, good, good job, good job. Son of a bitch. Yeah, close. yeah sh so okay. just say just say go. So okay. uh so when when it's one <laughs> yeah, but you do three two one go. But you do one when you can. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, we got this, yeah. Three, two, one, go. It's huge. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. One sec, one sec, okay. Good, good. Okay, I'm, I, I have it lined up. Three, two, one, go. One second, it's very pixel perfect. Okay, I'm back. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Three, two, one, go. All right, stop, stop, stop. 
I'm happy to see Sin yeah, on the throne of the underworld. Let's go, Pepin and Happy and Team. Wiggins immunity. Easy. Oh. Three, dude. You can send someone up. Fuck him. Look at you. Here you go. None of you will be the next person voted out of Survivor Mesopotamia. However, for the Iraq tribe, uh, you'll be seeing me back at Tribal Council, where after this next vote, you will be down to six, and I will see you then. Um, Sooner sucks. Um, I know they're trying to sugarcoat it. Maybe I sound rude, and maybe that's going to get me voted out. But I'm being so real. How has he flopped to edit two challenges? I don't care if they're going to be like, oh yeah, puzzles. No. It, it could have been done. Losing a second challenge in a row is, is definitely tough this early. Um, I think based on having this much experience as a tribe going to tribal, we have kind of split into two strong alliances at this point. And I, I think this tribal council is really going to solidify the divide we have in our tribe. This is, so, this is now the council of dicks. Okay. Um, I'm going to be real. Goods. And I'm going to be very vocal about it because I know me not being vocal kind of sealed my fate last time. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm low-key thinking sooner. It's two yeah, for two. Same. It's two for two. This is getting it's 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 no yeah. longer it's no longer um, a coincidence. Sooner's ass is grass. Unless Dizzy flips on me, his ass is going home. As long as my line sticks together, I'm fine. I'm good. Um my name's out there because it was already thrown out and I've been performing good. So I'm content. Like, I don't know. These people are weird. That's I'm what I'm just... thinking too. It's like, well the problem is that I don't want to get out Joe, he's good at challenges. I don't want to get out Joe if he's good at challenges. And we're not getting any of us out. So the only logical conclusion... Do we want to keep our numbers? Exactly. I want to keep up. Please, let's just keep I, I agree. The dicks have decided to vote sooner. And I had to talk to Joe to, you know, just in case one of them has an idol, somehow flush it. Uh, Daryl immediately was like, we got to get Joe up. Okay. I, I like I don't really want to vote you up, so we might just have to vote for Daryl. I told Joe is that I'm not cool with Daryl and he's trying to get you out. And he, from what I could see, believed me. And I kinda feel bad because he believed me so hard that I feel bad. <laughs> what are you thinking? I'm still trying to pin together the like the senior hinky vote because I'm annoyed that I'm getting, I guess, blamed for it. And that's probably why Daryl wants me out, because I said that- Daryl thinks you're the leader of their three, of those three. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm trying to be low and lay under the radar, but it's not working, because apparently um, Daryl and Caleb think that I'm like controlling the game and that I have an idol apparently. So I know for a fact now that no matter how I play this game, I'm going to get viewed as a leader. So, you know what? I think we have to change himself up, and I think I'm not to play as a leader after this round. I'm I'm worried about another hinky vote, because like, I I I would prefer to be on the right side of the vote, and like, at the very least, like I want to be able to roll with the group, and I would like to roll with you guys. It's funny you go into this game with a clear goal in your mind, like, oh, I'm gonna you know cause chaos. Whenever you actually do bad in a challenge, not even intentionally doing bad, but doing bad because you just suck, kind of just hits different. So yeah, um, Sooner, I was also proposing Daryl because in the event... Um... Daryl has like three votes and that's, again, it's the start of the game, but that's pretty big if you think like he's going to get votes again tonight. Like that may not be someone you want to take far into merge because that could be an easy person to pick off. This, this position sucks to be in. I, you know, you always want to be the split vote. Every game, you feel like you want to have that strategical hierarchy. And I do feel safe this vote. I, I felt safe last vote. But it's between two people I genuinely want to stay here. I want to, I want to see if you can. Can you guess who we're voting? Uh, so, sooner? Yep. Yo. Uh, it's hard to vouch for sooner. Daryl, on the other hand, this is the second time going on. I'm now being welcomed into this new group, and it's like, oh, like we could trust you this time, right? <sighs> I have to pick a side. It's a tough, it's a tough position to be in, and even only in episode two. I am almost positive I am going home, um, because of that challenge. Uh, will I throw a vote? Absolutely, I'm gonna throw a vote this tribal. Just cause a little bit more chaos. I mean, the, there's a theory that light voted you, but I don't think that's true. 
whenever we got into our call, it felt like we didn't really have a name. So I feel like it's someone from our group. That's that's my thought. And I trust you. I don't. I and I, I want to say I trust Joff, but honestly, I. No, I I get I, it. It's... I don't know. Joe is actually kind of nice. He's he's the one who's being upfront with me and saying, yeah, you know what? I think it is Joff. That's your name, which makes me think it is Joe. You got to do a little bit of reverse psychology here, you know, as a wannabe sociology major, which I lied about. I'm an engineering major. Oh, I'm an engineering major based out of Albuquerque, by the way. So I'm not even from Denver, which is funny because I lied about that. And you're foolish if you believe that, you fucking fools. Well, uh, Iraq tribe, welcome to your second tribal council in a row. Uh, Joff, you all are over three on challenges now. Uh, do you think that the Iridu tribe is just intrinsically better than you, or do you think you're lacking cohesion? Or what do you think the deal is? Listen, as a super fan of JP Toonie Survivor, I know that once a tribe starts losing a challenge, they tend to start to con to continue to lose the challenge, just like I lost my train of thought during that sentence. So, potentially we are just cursed now and this is our fate. We are just going to come here and breathe in all the smoke that is getting trapped in tribal. Squid, you did the best of your tribe, arguably, in that challenge today. Do you think that that absolves you of any sins moving forward for this vote? I would like to say yes, but of course, I don't think I should be involved of any sense. A challenge is a challenge in tribal is tribe. I don't want to be threatened, of course, but I think that just because I'm decent at parkour should not mean I am vulnerable. I mean, not vulnerable from the vote. Dizzy, what do you think people would be lying about at this point? Uh, there's been talk of sabotage on the tribe. Has there been any more instances of that lately? Yeah, I mean, with it being so early in the game, I feel like when you get into groups that you're more comfortable with, you have to, you know, somewhat lie to the other of who you vote for, or maybe who you're after. Obviously, now with this weird tiebreaker twist, it really falls on the feet of some people that are more at risk than others. So, Joe, how would the how would the knowledge of the past votes breaking any deadlock ties in the future play into the strategy this early on in the game? Especially with this tribe, because we're not really unified right now, I think every vote, I think it's important to not only stay in the majority, but, you know, to just try not have your name out there. Because, who knows, the one vote you get in the pre-merge could be the thing that takes you out uh, 11 rounds later. A very nice place to end it off. So we will be casting the votes again. Uh, Big Joff, we will be starting with you. My only thing to say is this. can't erase her image. I would love to throw a rogue vote again, but now's not the time. Casting this vote caused a little chaos, a little ruckus. If I don't survive, this vote will surely just be a funny joke afterwards, so. I've tallied the votes. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and they would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Okay. I will read the votes. First vote. Sooner. Sooner. Color me surprised. 
Daryl. That's crazy. Daryl. Dizzy. Sooner. And the second person voted out of Survivor Mesopotamia. Say it is so. I need you to bring me your torts. Right, which, one, um, which one would you? <laughs> Take them all, why not? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> there we go, we got it. Alright, JP, snuff me. Snuff me hard. Sinner, oh. the tribe has spoken. Maybe oh. I'll walk out that way. Alright, can I, can I talk really quick, JP? Fucking go for it. I threw away all of our supplies and our wood. Mm -hmm. I didn't do the death sign, so whoever did that, that's really funny of you guys. Um, <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, okay. you guys have a good game. Rooting for you. Have fun. Yep. All good. Nice meeting you. Take care. Yeah. Nice have meeting. a good one. Love you. You can all head back to camp. I wanted to cause chaos. I wanted to be a disruptor of things. I wanted to be, you know, the guy who who caused, you know, tomfoolery. And honestly, I had really fun with that. Um, my tribe, I don't blame them for voting me out because honestly, I, I probably would have too. Who, who knows? Who knows where where I'll go next?